after losing his title to Sugar Ray Robinson just over one year earlier, in his third fight on the comeback trail, LaMotta meets Eugene Heston. Detroit, 5th of March, 1952. Here we go to round one. That's LaMotta in the dark trunks. Heston in the white. LaMotta, nicknamed the Bronx Bull, is 31 years old. Weighs 168 pounds. Gene Hairston, known as Silent Hairston, 161 and a half pounds, giving LaMotta a six and a half pound weight pull. Hairston is only 23 years old, eight years younger than LaMotta. Over 10,000 fans jammed into Olympia Stadium tonight. LaMotta's a great favorite here in Detroit. He's put on some of his most spectacular fights here, including the one in which he knocked out middleweight champion Marcel Serdan of France and won the middleweight crown back in 1948. Lamata lost his title to Sugar Ray Robinson 18 months before this fight. And since then, he hasn't been able to win a fight. The experts say he's all washed up. Before the fight, Lamata promised his father that if he lost to Hairston tonight, he'd quit. But he also said if he beat Hairston or made a good showing, he was going to demand a fight with Joey Maxim for the light heavyweight crown. Just a few seconds left to the round, and look at Lamata go. There's the end of round one. In the second round, both boys continue to feel one another out, hitting to the body, and the round is pretty even. Now, here we are in round three. Ten rounder between former middleweight champion Jake LaMotta in the dark trunks, Gene Silent Hairston from New York in the white trunks. Gene gets his nickname from the fact that he's a deaf mute. But that disability hasn't been a handicap in his fight career. He entered the pro ring in 1947. He's had 58 fights and lost only 10. He's considered one of the leading contenders for Sugar Ray Robinson's middleweight title. Both men well equipped physically as fighters. Jake LaMotta, the bull, has a short neck, broad shoulders, and he bulls his way around the ring. He likes to come in swinging with both hands. He's always moving forward. He can take a punch, too. He's never been knocked down in his entire ring career. 12 years, 91 fights. No one has ever been able to knock him to the canvas. Gene Hairston is a very good boxer and a very hard hitter with both hands. Heston's favorite combination is the one-two, left jab and right cross. But he also hits hard to the body with hooks and uppercuts. The referee's got to be extra careful tonight because Heston can't hear the gong at the end of the round. He's liable to continue swinging away, and the referee's got to watch that. Of course, LaMotta's got to watch it, too, because unless he keeps that guard up and keeps fighting until Hairston stops, he's liable to get hit after the bell. Hairston worked for LaMotta. Jake owned several parking lots in New York, and Hairston was one of his parking lot attendants. There's 
the end of round three. In the fourth and fifth rounds, Hairston maintains a fast pace, but LaMotta slows up a little. Now here we are in round six. Before the fight, Hairston's manager said their plan tonight was to hit LaMotta to the body, wear him down. Well, so far, Hairston's been following that plan very well. But he's also been getting some hard shots to LaMotta's head. Here in Michigan, each round is scored on a point system. And before the fight, Hairston's manager asked the Michigan officials to watch LaMotta, claiming that Jake placed possum in the early parts of the round. Let's the other fighter do all the fighting until the last 30 seconds, and then comes through with a flurry, so still looked good. Hairston's a two-to-one favorite with the experts tonight. But the crowd is all for LaMotta. They'd like to see him win. He's given Detroit's fights fans some of their finest bouts. And they'd hate to see him quit the ring, which he's promised to do if he loses this fight. Neither will give a step when they're slugging it out. It's been a hard, clean fight so far. The referee hasn't had to park them very much. Very little clinching. There's the end of round six. In the seventh, eighth, and ninth rounds, the boys slam one another all over the ring, and it's pretty even, although Hairston may have a slight edge. Now here we are in the tenth and final round. Ten-round middleweight bout between Eugene Hairston and Jake LaMotta, the Bronx Bull, former middleweight champion here at Detroit's Olympia Stadium. LaMotta in the dark trunks. This is the round that could very well tell the entire story. It's been pretty even up to now. Amada's whole future as a fighter may depend on this tenth and final round. Amada's forcing the fight more in this round, and the crowd's all rooting for him. He's their favorite, regardless as to what the experts say. After all that punishment both have taken for nine grueling rounds, these boys are in very fine shape here in this tenth and final round. Lamana seems to be hurt, but you can't tell. He may be playing possum. That's an old trick of his. Yes, he was. There he goes. Not much time left. Look at LaMotta go. He just took a few from Hairston to let Gene become careless. Now he's going after him.
There's the end of the fight. The referee gives it to Hairston, but the judges call it a draw, and under Michigan rules, it's a draw by 